Hey everyone, so the first shortcut you want to be familiar with is pressing the V key for the selection tool. To select multiple clips with the selection tool, hold down the shift key while selecting them. Now we could copy these selected clips by using Ctrl C, then let's move the playhead to where we want to paste our clip and use Ctrl V to paste it. To undo pasting these unnecessary clips, we could just use the Ctrl Z keyboard shortcut. An even easier way to copy a clip is to duplicate it by holding the Alt key while dragging your clip with the selection tool. Deleting something is pretty straightforward, just select the clip you want to delete and press the delete key. Let's undo this though, because for middle clips like this, it's better to use Shift Delete, which I'll ripple delete and keep our clips together after the delete. For finer edits, it's useful to zoom into your timeline by moving the mouse to where you want to zoom into, and then hold down the Alt key while scrolling with your mouse wheel. From here, we could ripple trim our clip by holding down the Control key and dragging its end. Unlike a regular trim, we're not left with a pesky gap. For precise playhead navigation, you can use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to move the playhead forward or backwards one frame at a time. On the other hand, you can move clips forward and backwards one frame at a time by holding down the Alt key while pressing the left and right arrow keys. Okay, now I'm just going to Alt scroll again to zoom back out. Now, pressing the Home key will move the playhead to the start of your timeline so you can easily play it back. And you can simply tap the space bar to play back your video from wherever the playhead's located. By using the up and down arrow keys, you can move the playhead to the next or previous cut. Okay, if we wanted to quickly apply a transition at this cut, we could use the Ctrl D keyboard shortcut. And remember, you can change the default transition by right clicking any transition and clicking set selected as default transition. Moving on, if you select your audio clip, you can tap the G key to adjust its gain. To quickly change the speed of your video, select the clip and use the Ctrl R keyboard shortcut. Okay, for this next example, you might notice these red bars above my clip. To fix this, we can just select our clip and press the Enter key to render it out. Afterwards, it'll turn green, indicating smooth playback. Moving on, to cut your clips, you'll want to press the C key to select the razor tool. For a faster way to cut, you can use Ctrl K to make a cut at the playhead's position. Since I have no clip selected, it makes a cut based on which tracks are toggled on. If you want to cut a single clip, just be sure to only select that clip before using Ctrl K. Okay, good, this time it didn't also cut my audio track. For the next shortcut, just tap the T key to select the title tool. Now I could quickly click in my preview and type some text. To save your project at any time, just press Ctrl S. And to export your project, first make sure your timeline panel is selected and then use Ctrl M. Okay, I covered a lot, so I hope you guys found it useful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.